Hey guys, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at texturing. I'm uh, using PBR textures in Blender 2.8. So this is just a basic introduction to PBR textures. So in the previous uh, video, I uh, we did uh, UV unwrapping and uh, I showed you how to UV unwrap and we unwrapped uh, these shoes to have these non-stretching uh, UVs. And you can see, I think we did a good job of UV unwrapping here. Uh, so let's add, let's see how to use PBR textures. So for that, uh, we're going to do, you can go to the shading uh, uh, tab here. And uh, yeah, so to, to let's have a brief introduction to PBR textures. So uh, if you're using the principal shader, which is something I recommend you should be using, uh, you can see these nodes here, you have base color, subsurface, uh, all these here, and uh, they have input nodes uh, where you can add uh, texture maps. So if you're using PBR textures, these are standard textures used uh, by different uh, 3D applications, uh, Cinema 4D, 3Ds Max, uh, any, any professional 3D application. Uh, so and the way they, they, and the advantage of using this is that uh, whatever application you're using, if you add, if you use the same PBR textures, you will see the same results. So they will give you the same uh, renders. So, and uh, it kind of avoids uh, having the same materials uh, in one application, but uh, looking different in a different application. So that's why you use tec uh, PBR textures and they make uh, your, uh, your textures more look more realistic and uh, also it makes the workflow much easier. So to do to use PBR textures, obviously you're going to need PBR textures, and uh, there are few resources you can. I would recommend you have uh, Texture Haven. This is a, a website where you can download free, free to use uh, textures. You can see uh, it's Creative Common uh, license, uh, so you can use them and uh, on uh, how is it called? You can use them for free and also for co for commercial purposes and everything. Uh, so this is the guy behind this website. And uh, if you have some spare change, uh, you can consider donating. And uh, there's also another uh, website called CC Zero Textures, and it's also the same thing. Uh, you can use uh, these textures as you want, and he has also a Patreon page. If you want to support him, you can do that. Uh, it's a very they they're really helping out and uh, they're providing these high, high quality textures. You can see. All the textures come with uh, a normal map that you can feed in into the normal node here. Uh, a bump map, sorry, a color or diffuse uh, map that you can f that, uh, feed into the uh, diffuse here. Let me maybe. S yeah. So again, so these are just images that you feed into image maps that you feed in in different nodes uh, that you see here. So and. Uh, this is a good example of what uh, we are supposed to do. Uh, so you begin with a, a color texture, which is this, or the diffuse texture, that you feed in the base color. You have the subsurface, but because bricks don't have subsurface, that's why we don't have any subsurface map in the in here. Uh, so, but uh, we have surface radius, uh, if you have that, uh, surface color, if, if your object or textures have surface color, you can feed it in that. You have metallic, I think, uh, metallic would be this one here. Uh, so this, uh, the metallic node uh, is what uh, tells Blender what parts of the object or the material should be rendered as metallic or non-metallic, and uh, you use that map uh, for that. So we also have, let me first slide this. We have specularity, uh, that is obvious, specular. Uh, specular color we have uh, roughness, this is just how much shiny or roughness this, this, the surface of your object is going to be. So one is uh, complete roughness, no reflection. Uh, zero is uh, full shine, fully shiny like a mirror surface, polished uh, mirror surface. Uh, so I think, I'm not sure which map would it be here. So I think it's this map here. So the black areas would be areas that are going to be shiny and uh, the white areas are going to be uh, the ones that have less shine on them. Uh, you also have uh, the height map. So any of the black uh, maps here could be the height map or anything. They are well named, so I'll show you how 
uh, they work so and uh, we also have so different um, different nodes here so uh, the great thing about these our website is that uh, if you go to browse textures maybe let's go to this as well so let's find let's find something metallic and see brushed metal brushed metal so they're well categorized on any of these websites you can also see he has a, a search feature so maybe let's go for this material here they come they come packed into a zip a file containing all these maps so you can see the ambient occlusion diffuse displacement normal map they're all well named and uh, you can just uh, plug in plug them into any node that uh, uh, that follows uh, the name of the map so and uh, not every texture or surface has to have an anisotropic surface or sub -surf surface so if it doesn't have uh, that map then you don't have to add it there and uh, yeah so basically you just connect uh, the maps that are here so you can see in this principal shader we don't have the ambient occlusion and note that's because the ambient occlusion is supposed to be uh, combined with the diffuse and I'm going to show you how to combine that uh, in a moment so uh, let's see let's go with this and see because I want to show you uh, the I don't know okay so, uh, the problem is that uh, we don't have a preview I want to I don't want to download this because I already have them downloaded uh, but uh, I think this has an an anisotropic node or map so you just plug it in here uh, because it's a brushed metal so let's go and uh, find some PBR textures that I downloaded and uh, apply them uh, because we already have the model UV unwrapped it's going to be very easy for us so you need to have the UV, uh, the model UV unwrapped so let's go add an image texture and then find other textures so I have them under textures and you can see I have downloaded some of these I don't uh, I'm not sure where I downloaded because they are mixed I usually get them from texture heaven or CC texture so it's a mix here so let's go to this uh, you can see this one has a color displacement no more and uh, roughness so let's get the color and uh, you connect this to the base color and you can see the texture is already there uh, it is fully transparent it's fully reflective because uh, the roughness is now zero is zero zero which means fully rough full roughness but uh, if we bring it up you can see we get that uh, zero roughness zero uh, finish or reflectiveness uh, but uh, some parts here are supposed to be to ha are supposed to have some reflectiveness that's why we use PBR textures to uh, to get uh, those parts so we can duplicate this then find the roughness uh, texture or map then connect this to the roughness map so this you can see if we go at, at an angle you can see some areas are fully rough and some areas are not I guess I don't know this material this texture is not really giving the effect is not uh, as is not doesn't have pronounced uh, effects as I just to demonstrate what I want so let's find a different uh, PBR textures so let's see leather leather there is a different leather material I had here no 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 okay so I think this is this has pronounced detail that we can easily see so this is going to be the color you can see and uh, we can change the roughness again uh, roughness 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 is this and uh, we again need to duplicate this for the let's see what what other texture do we have we have the normal map uh, so the normal map is not supposed to go directly into the normal uh, because you see uh, these nodes have different colors so this 
yellow, greenish yellow, can go in any gray or yellow node, but uh, you, you shouldn't uh, send it directly, uh, connect it directly to any purple node. Uh, that will give you a wrong uh, details. So what you need to add is uh, go to vector and then normal map so that it can convert the color the colored uh, values into vector values that are fed into the normal map. Now we can reduce the, the strength to about 0 0.3. Maybe that's still too much, so maybe 0 0.1. And uh, any texture that is not going to affect uh, the color of the object, you need to change uh, the texture have the color node here to non color data. I think it speeds up uh, the render or something. I don't, but that's what is recommended. And uh, then we still have a few nodes to add, so let's duplicate this again. Then <coughs> add, so we have added, we need to add the displacement. So this goes into the displacement uh, node here. You, cannot, you will notice that. Uh, you won't find this in here, so we can connect this directly here. Let's first remove this and see if that is working. Okay, so we can preview it here, um, and that's too much. So you can see in this value here, we don't see any option to reduce at the strength here. So the way you can reduce the strength is by adding a color invert uh, input and uh, you can reduce, use this factor here to reduce uh, the amount. So if you go below 0.5, it will just invert uh, the map, but, uh, if you, you, but you can use the values around 0.5 and above to reduce the amount the bumping there, so maybe around that. Then let's reconnect these. Let's again bring this up back to 0.3 so that we have those details pronounced. Connect the roughness again to roughness and uh, the color to color. So we are only remaining with the ambient occlusion, so let's duplicate this. Then find the ambient occlusion, uh, which is this. So the ambient occlusion doesn't have an input here, so we need to mix it uh, with uh, the color texture here. So color mix RGB. Now we can connect this input to the bottom. Uh, because we have these other materials down here, we are not fully seeing what is going on. So we can hit Control Shift T to preview the materials here. So, so you can see we need to change this to multiply so that uh, the ambient occlusion is multiplied on top of uh, the uh, the color texture so that uh, uh, the creeps. I don't know how the cream creases creases of uh, the textures are more darker, so we need to multiply this. I don't know if you can see the effect. Uh, you see, it, darken, it darkens those uh, impressions in the texture. So let's go back. So that's how we use PBR textures, but I uh, can see that uh, uh, these textures are too big, so you can either go to the UV editor and uh, scale this up So that uh, the textures are more smaller, or but uh, that uh, requires you to edit the UV, the UV map, and uh, we don't want to to do that if we ask, if we already have a UV map that we already happy with, we don't do, we shouldn't do that. So you can go to the shading. You shouldn't do that. So you can go to the shading, and then hit Control T. Uh, you need to have no wrangler for this to work. I think uh, in 2.8, it's going to be uh, turned on by default, so you don't need to enable it anymore. And then you can uh, 
increase the size here. Let's try five, five, and five. So we are, you're not seeing any changes right now because there are a lot of things going on here. So we can just isolate this and preview only that. So, so it was this size. And uh, when we added five, five, so this is scaled to a scale of five instead of one. And uh, we need to use uh, this uh, mapping for every node here. Let's again turn this back on. So we need to turn this to use this for the uh, roughness as well and the normal map. And also, don't forget uh, the displacement. And you see, we have that. <coughs> So again, if you want to control any of these inputs, because you see, whenever you connect, let's say a roughness, this roughness here, to the roughness node, you lose your ability to control the roughness directly here. So what you can do is again, either use an, an, an invert uh, node, so input, color invert and you can reduce it that way or to have better control you can just use a color mix RGB connect this to this uh, but uh, to preview what is going on here we can uh, uh, use control T to preview just this node here now you can see what we have I change this to multiply, change this to white. Maybe this is supposed to be the top here. And whenever you change the color here, you can control uh, the, r the roughness like that. So by making it full white, are you giving it <coughs> that, uh, um, you're making it more shiny? Let me show you. You're making it more shiny, less shiny. I don't know so you can't really see it here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's. Yeah, you can see it, but uh, it's very settled. Uh, you can see this area here. So we are not overriding the entire texture, but we are getting some bit of control over how things should look. And uh, yeah. So you can again come in and uh, use a different texture for here to this, for the soul. I don't know what texture I used. It's the same. You can see. <coughs> yeah, so this was not a PBR texture, I think, but uh, I think it worked well without a PBR text. I just made it, I guess I'll show you how to do that in the next video, but uh, yeah, this is what we have. <coughs>